All right, welcome back, eSim Studios. I um, wanted to do a test or and or review of the new Nothing uh, Chats, right? The new app, messaging app that allows for uh, messaging and uh, iPhone users, iMessage, right? It's integrated into iPhone, excuse me, into iMessage with uh, RCS and all that good stuff. Uh, we had put a couple videos out uh, in the last few days explaining what it is and the tech behind it and how it works and how it was actually came to fruition. But now it's judgment day, um, at least. Now, look, I don't have, I got one person um, that I can message <laughs> that has an iPhone that can help me test this out. So we're going to set it, install it, set it up, and I'll put the link for the application in our uh, description box. It is a Play Store app, and it will only work and or install on the Nothing Phone 2. Um, but today, the 17th, is the release date for it. And the person I'm going to message, eh, I gave him a heads up, and he's going to... I've texted him before installing the uh, Chats app, the Nothing Chats app. And I'm going to all, uh, so he'll have my previous text messages green. And then I'm going to send him a couple text messages after we set this up. And then um, he was gonna, he's going to send me a screenshot to see what it looks like on his end and if they are blue. In fact, blue. So let's give it a shot. Because uh, we did learn that uh, when Apple just announced yesterday they're going to support RCS messaging and integrate it into iMessage. Late next year, probably my guess is iOS 18, probably around September of next year. But all Android messages going to any iPhone are still going to be green. So this is where the Nothing Phone 2 has a leg up on the competition on all of their Android phones. Because this one is supposed to show up as blue bubbles on iPhone users. Um, and that will not be the case if you have any other Android phone this time next year after Apple integrates it into iMessage. So, I've already got the app here. Oh, I thought I did. Let's see. Nothing chats. It's in my search history. Let's see. Let's do this. Now let's go to their... Let's see if they have it in here. And if not, I'll grab it. Okay, hang on. Okay, so if you go to... I'll link this in the description so you don't have to go looking for it. Apparently, it's not in the Play Store if you search for it. Because we just did that and it did not show up. Even if you go to the... You know when you go to the App Store and you see an app that you like, you can click the app. And then underneath it in blue is the developer. Well, if you click on the blue and then on the developer name, it gives you all of their apps that they developed and published on the, on the Google Play Store. I don't see nothing, unless I'm missing it, nothing X, watch, launcher, so it is not installed, so the only way you're going to be able to find it is through this link, and again, no worries, I got you, I'm going to put the link in the description box, but let's go back to the link, let's see, it is, and now I have not installed this so y'all are going to ride with me uh, for the first time. See how this works. So there's the link, and it opens it up to the uh, Nothing Chat. Oh, look. Nothing Partnerships. What the hell is that? Huh. So it's so the, so the developer is not Nothing uh, Technologies Limited or whatever their official name is. It's under Nothing Partnerships. So... Um, like I said, no worries. I'll put the link down there, but let's go ahead and get this installed. Uh, how heavy is it as far as the, let's see, blue bubbles. Okay. Private secure. Create your account. A setup in less than five minutes. Interesting. We'll give it a shot. Let's see. Do, 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 do. How big is it? Let's go to details. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. And it will not install in any of these. Again, it's device specific. It's only 16 megabytes, so it's really not that big. Um, 
part uh, uh, permissions. You have camera permissions, contact permissions, location permissions, microphone, phone, storage, other um, advertising ID permission. Um, I mean, I'm sure it's relatively similar to any other messaging app. At least uh, they, they, it is encrypted. At least that's what they claim. But uh, let's give it a shot. It is early access. But with the link, you are with this link, you will be able to download it. If you're searching for it on the Play Store, it will not show up. So, y'all ready? Let's go. Again, just just to make sure, this is the Nothing Phone Two. Okay, let's see here. Let me turn the brightness up for everyone. Welcome to chats. Keep. All of your message organized, fully encrypted, and unified. Private and secure. End to end encryption. Our servers never store user messages or any other personal data, ensuring safety, security, and privacy. Okay. Uh, hang on. Let me pause this video and create an account. Hang, hang with me. Okay. I just created an account. <laughs> And it says, chat needs your permission to send you notifications for new messages and other activities. Yes, we will allow. Allow access to your contacts. Chat needs your permission to import your contacts. This permission is required for your contacts to be visible inside the app. So we'll let that sync up. Shouldn't take too long. There we go. Okay. So. Connect your apps. Connect at least one message type to continue. Interesting. So it's got an iMessage there. I don't have... I have an Apple account or Apple ID. I, on, uh, I'd have to find the credentials. Uh, anyways, let's just do RCS because I don't even have an iPhone here. So that's iMessage is not going to work. But it does obviously give you the option, right? So if you have an iPhone, you can sign into this. Connect RCS, yes. Let's see, please enter that message set as your default. Yes, it is set. To avoid duplicate notifications, we recommend you turn them off in the Google Messaging Messages app settings, okay? Connecting to RCS. To activate RCS messaging for Sunbird, we will be emailing a QR code to you that you will need to scan using your Google Messages app on your phone. Okay, check your email for a QR. Now, luckily, I have three phones here. I have my S23 Ultra, which I'm recording on, and then I have my Pixel 8 Pro. So it looks like you're at least going to need one more device. Now, it can be a computer because they're going to email me a QR code. So you're going to need to scan that QR code with this Nothing phone. So you're going to need either a computer, a desktop, laptop, a tablet, a phone, just some other device uh, so you can scan. Interesting setup. I've um, not really seen this before. Let's see. Now, to set up Google Messages on your computer, you do have to scan a QR code, uh, which reminds me of that. But let's see. <laughs> tap, okay, so let's do tap, tap generate a QR code button. Check your email for a QR code on a, set, there we go, on a separate device. Open Google Messages app on your phone. I'm assuming it's this phone. Click the three lines in the top left and go to device pairing. Okay. So, let me check my email and we will scan this. Interesting setup. I don't think I've seen something like this yet. Let's see. Okay. So, this is the email they sent me. RCS login request from Sunbird. Hello, we have received your new login request for RCS login. Please open the following link to finish your login process. Again, this uh, uh, this Nothing Chats app that we're setting up, the developers for Nothing worked with Sunbird who, uh, to uh, basically get the workaround so iMessage works with blue bubbles. <laughs> So let's open this up. Now it told it told me to 
Okay, open Google Messages app on your phone. Click the three lines in device pairing. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, device pairing right here. QR code scanner. Okay, we will pair this. Now what do I do? I guess go back. Success, cool. You have successfully connected to RCS. You can continue using chats. Okay, so let's turn. Now let's check this out on the pixel over here on the left. Google messages are synced with Sunbird. New messages will now appear on Sunbird. You can go, oh, so it's, it thinks so we're gonna be using Sunbird, but it's a routing where you're gonna be using obviously the nothing. Android messages app is basically the stock uh, messaging app, right? So the message will look like that. And let's see, what does that say up top? So when you get a, oh, that's a notification, but that says unread messages. Okay. So let's see what the attachments look like. It's pretty basic. Look, when you go to attach, oh, you can't see, damn it. So when you go to attachments down here at the bottom, uh, you got files. You can choose between any files you have, or if you want to take a picture, uh, record a video, open a gallery, or choose a video. Okay, let's see. Let's see what else they got. So if you want to create a message, you got all your contacts. You what does this do? Oh shit. Okay. That shows both. Let's see what else we got here. Hidden chats, saved messages, connected apps, settings. Let's go to settings. Account we had already gone into. You can edit V card. Um, basically sending your information, like a business, personal car, uh, virtual like per business card, or you know, your name, your contact, uh, your your info in, in a little v file there you can share messaging it's got the uh, iMessage send and receive just some basic info you got your sunbird account you got the connected apps which we've been into let's see what wait hang on a second let's see what the v card okay interesting instead of your apple id email screw apple okay Go into messaging, enable R O L, read out loud. No, thank you. Low media upload quality. No, we want good media upload quality. You can back up your messages, it's a local backup. Uh, so whether okay, so if you change or lose your phone, your chats are safe, you can always restore them when you reinstall nothing. App settings, theme, you got system default, you have light, dark, set time and date format, you can choose, you got the version down there, notification preferences, Is that the same one? Yeah. Privacy has the basically the privacy uh, agreements there. Security. I guess I'm assuming to get into this app, you can lock it down so you can submit your device finger, fingerprint reader. You can set a device pin code or a custom uh, pin code to access this app. And then help. And, uh, you know, compare to the messaging so you can get a good idea of how it compares and look and feel to your current messaging app, whether you use Google Messages, whether you use Samsung Messages, uh, OnePlus Messages, what have you. So uh, this is the Nothing um, app. Excuse me. This is the Nothing Chats app. It did give you a good look at this new Nothing Chats app. 
I do appreciate the time. Will I be using it? Uh, probably not. I'm probably going to go back to my uh, Google Messages app. So cool little logo there. But uh, I do appreciate uh, the view. And if you got any questions or maybe you could uh, uh, say, hey, you forgot to do this, forgot to do that. But pretty sure I read through everything.